We take a little video tour here. Um, it's uh, April 1st, uh, I don't know, 2nd, 3rd, something like that. We had a big storm yesterday, and this is the creek you can see in the distance here. Uh, traveled on that the day before the storm. Lots of adventures. I wanted to show you if this turns out here. I'm going to swing around here. Um, if it picks it up here, you'll see a little darker spots. They're kind of spreading out. There's one real darker spot. That is slush. And that is water that's seeping up through the ice from the running water mainly. And that spreads out uh, between the ice and the snow. And here it's uh, spreading in such a way that it's actually melting the snow. And I got into some of this this morning with the powder and then hitting the slush and going below and it froze right into the canoe. So forth. So swing around here a little bit more. Uh, this is a, a large bay that goes in the Sturgeon Lake. Sturgeon Lake is one of my mile posts. Uh, it's one of the biggest lakes uh, on the Bounty Waters. This is just a small arm of this. Uh, Sturgeon leads into the uh, Moline River, which is uh, falls and rapids. That's going to be the exciting part. And I'm going to back off here, show you the water hole. Um, this is the, notice there's a hole. What I did is I dug down through the uh, snow, got the slush layer. Using the axe here, I dug a little bit in the ice. So I had a little bit of a, a concave area there. And then using that blue cup, I filled that, I can see that camelback thing, that black thing there. I always carry that with me, uh, it's a real important thing. It, you can get almost three gallons of water in it. And uh, that enables you to get uh, water from a distance and carry it into camp. And since it takes a tremendous amount of fuel to milk snow into water or ice in the water, this saves me a lot of fuel and I'm on fuel rations right now. So I'll turn around here in a second. 